today I'm going to show you three different methods of tying a cleat hitch. I'm going to start out with the method that is most commonly taught in North America. The first step is to bring the rope to the base of the cleat that is furthest away from the incoming line. Then bring the rope around the base of the cleat and over to the other side. Now go around this side of the base of the cleat and bring your rope diagonally up and over the horn of the cleat to the opposite side. Next go under the horn on this side and back up and over diagonally to the opposite side. Then grab the rope with your left hand a few inches out from the end of the cleat. Now with your right hand, grab the rope about four to five inches below your left hand and pull it over to the right. Then create a loop by bringing your right hand forward and underneath the standing part of the rope while twisting your left hand towards you. Now just put your loop over the horn and pull on the working end of the rope to secure your hitch. It's a good idea to coil your excess line and place it close to the edge of the dock. The main advantage to this version of the cleat hitch is how quickly it can be tied and untied. The disadvantage is that it is the least secure of the three methods that I'm going to show you. The next method I will show you is more secure but takes a little longer to tie and untie. Just like the previous hitch, the first step is to bring the rope to the base of the cleat that is furthest away from the incoming line. Next you're going to make a full turn all the way around the base of the cleat. Then bring the rope up and over the cleat diagonally to the opposite side. Then go under the horn on this side and pull the rope over to the opposite side. Now with your right hand, create a loop by twisting the rope away from you two times. Now just place the loop over the horn and pull on the end of the rope to tighten up the hitch. Notice that in this version, the incoming line and the end of the line are on the same side. The next version I will tie more quickly because it is exactly like the previous one, except you will do a minimum of two full wraps around the cleat. This is the most secure method but will take longer to tie and untie and may bind with heavy tension on the line. You will want to use this method if you're using a small diameter line on a large cleat. Remember all three hitches were demonstrated with me standing on the opposite side of the incoming line. The hitch is obviously exactly the same no matter where you're standing in relation to the line. But if you are standing in a different position than I was, it will affect the fine details of your technique. There are many other ways to tie up to a cleat and a lot of controversy over which is the best method. These are just three of the most common ones.